Monday. Are we bright eyed and bushy tailed? Yeah. <laughs> Are you daddy? Something. <laughs> Until they break my spirit. <laughs> Time to take it for that one. <laughs> So I did not vlog last night, um, but if you follow me on Instagram, which you should if you don't, so the link is down below, um, we watched Happily Ever After for the first night. Um, that it started while well, I did, actually. These guys stayed at Enchanted Rose because it was raining last night. But I digress. We got some, we were up late, we got some good sleep, and uh, we're headed to Animal Kingdom. And we are not rope dropping, so I think, I can't even remember the last time we went to Magic, I mean, went to Animal Kingdom that we did at Rope Drop. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. So, I'm let's sure go. We've done it at least once. I'm sure once, but I really, since it's the parks reopened, we've never done it. We've always rope dropped it. Um, when we used to have fast passes, I don't know if we necessarily always rope dropped it um, because we had fast passes and so we could just roll in whatever time we wanted to, but. Um, I don't know. The wait times are not so bad. Um, right now, Flight of Passage says 105 minutes, but the rest of them look pretty easy. So we're gonna go and have some fun. All right, we made it in. As we were coming through um, the gate, though, it did start raining, so we hung out in the car for about 10 minutes. But it, we're getting upon the entrance, and it looks like it's kind of a, a haze in the air. I don't know if it's coming through on the camera or not, but. It is going to be hot and humid. There's the tree alive. I love coming in and seeing the tree. It's so pretty. I don't think I nearly have enough pictures of the tree alive. All right, we just checked the app and it. Expedition Everest said 30 minutes, right. and this little one wants to go on Expedition Everest, right? Go get your Yeti. Mm -hmm. <laughs> go get that Yeti. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna head up through Dino Land. I don't know if you saw in our past vlog where I said come up through Dino Land, because usually the line for Expedition Everest is by Finding Nemo. So we're curious to see um, if that's still the case or not. Did they any word on opening the Boneyard yet? Did they go in no, the I heard they might do it. Can we? It's not open. <laughs> they might redo it. There's a rumor they're gonna redo it. What are they gonna do it? I don't know. It's still like a playground though, yeah, right? Yeah, probably oh. maybe differently themed, I don't know. No, I think the boneyard's cool I though. I love the boneyard. <laughs> okay guys, in uh, October there's gonna be like a kite show in there. It's going to have like uh, animals on kites and stuff and they're going to be Is flying them around. Are going to redo Dino Land? No, not Dino Land. Oh, um, like Chester and Hester? Possibly. There's always been like a rumor, especially now that uh, Primeval World is not open, but you never know. Nothing's been announced yet. I think it kept breaking down and it was uh, just more expensive because it's an older ride. It was harder for them to find, you know, pieces to make it work. I know. Well, at least you got to do it twice. Some people never even got to do it. <laughs> Looks like it's glad that we still came this way because the line is still here, so. The boys are now, we've been doing the um, Disney alphabet game in line. So it's like where you think of the alphabet and then you have to think of something Disney. It could be a character, a ride, a movie, anything that's D. And what, what letter are we on, J? What'd you got? Uh, Alaska girl. <laughs> that's not. Well, there's a there's a restaurant at Disney Springs that we ate at before. That's a J. There's a ride at Animal King or at Magic Kingdom. That's a J. H for Hannah Montana. <laughs> oh yeah, H for Hannah Montana. We're on J though. What's a ride at uh, Magic Kingdom? You ride a boat. Did you already do S? We're on the alphabet, honey, and we're at J. Oh, Jungle Cruise. Yeah. Oh, what did you do S? And I'll pick Haleo, right, Daddy? Yeah. Chaleo. Do you pass S? Do you know the alphabets? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, does S come before or after J? After. Okay, so we're not there yet. What comes after J in the alphabet? K. Okay, what's your K word? There's a couple rides here that are K's. Cowabunga. Cowabunga, Cowabunga. <laughs> That's H, but that would be a good one. But I think Cowabunga is C. I don't know, maybe it is K. What's a, it's a right, there's some rights here. Let's start with K. That's a C, and that's a three, it starts with T. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> What's the ride here that you get really wet on? Okay, oh Kelly, you remember Rackle? Daddy was thinking Kona Cafe, but I was thinking Kilimanjaro Safari. What's L? Elimination. <laughs> That's I. Elimination World. That's Lion I. King. Lion King is a good one. I'll say Living with the Land. Two L's. La 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 la. Do you have an M one? Mickey. Oh, Mickey Mouse double. Uh, Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse double. <laughs> I'll say Mouse Gear. Right, Daddy? <laughs> Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom, yeah. Okay, now which one are we on? N. Navi River Adventure. <laughs> Navi River. Okay, that's a good one. What's the N one for you? Uh, <laughs> I can't think of an N. Um... We went there all the time. <laughs> oh, Narcosis! <laughs> wait, wait, what? Narcosis. <laughs> Amazing sea. All right, we're almost on the ride, wait, so that's wait. like sea for California Grill. Oh, that is a good one. I have to remember that for next time. So 23 minutes. Michael forgot to set, turn off his timer, and it was on and off in 30 minutes. So pretty accurate. What? Michael's gonna go refill the popcorn bucket, and oh, we're gonna go it. get some ice cream for this kid. I'm not gonna get the chocolate. I'm getting the special wild. What if you don't like it? I don't like it. <laughs> oh, that's true. I guess that's pretty accurate. I'm pretty sure I like it though. All right, let's I give like it a shot. It. Look, it's blueberry and vanilla soft serve topped with strawberries and a waffle bowl. You don't want that? Okay, do you not want ice cream at all then? I'll get chocolate. So they didn't have the Raya one anymore, just that uh, star spangled one for 4th of July. So Aaron just decided on good old fashioned chocolate. <laughs> He's swinging, swinging in the breeze. <laughs> he is just hanging there, huh? Where's the other one at? Oh, there they are. They're not making any sounds today, though. They're smart staying in the shade because it is hot. He busted out the new fans that Mike got. These are nice because they do like uh, air condition your neck, but I still think I almost like the other ones better because it blows more on your face. But coming around the back of the tree, it's the bird up show. Got some time today that it'll be opened. I know, they're so cute. Do you know their names, Aaron? Russell. Russell's one. And I'll forget the uh, dog. Doug. <laughs> Doug the dog. Doug the dog. Oh, yeah, so stand by 35. Won't be no, I think it'll. It's it's. Although this line is usually slower. We'll see. Ready to go on a two-week safari? I'm sure it'll feel like ten minutes. <laughs> Actually, I think it's like twenty. Oh, are the partitions still up I on this? I hope so. Or it's going to be really hot if they're not down. I think they took them down. I think they did too. I hope they did too. When they were up, especially when it was like Ooh. humid, it ah. was. Uh, yeah, a little sticky unless you were in the front or the back where you got some airflow. It was pretty, uh, pretty hot. Hello, Majora Safaris. My name is Katie. I'll be your safari guide today. If you look above your heads, you'll see a Wait, safari spotting guide to help you identify some of the animals out there. Um, here we're going to try to stop for as many as we can. 
Even if we do stop, it doesn't mean the animals will. So if you have an action or a sport setting on your camera, that's going to be the best way to put it on. You'll see the stripes on their legs kind of looks like a zebra. They're actually the closest known relative to the giraffe. They have the same skull structure. They also have the same prehensile tongue, which means it kind of acts like a finger. They can grab onto food with their tongue. For I know they weigh 3,000 pounds. There are less than 5,000 black rhinos left in the world who get poached for their horns. It's already In large groups, they're called a bloat, so it's a bloat of hippos. They walk or run on the bottom of the water. They can swim, they're just more often seen walking or running. Mating season is really raining now. On their back. Their wingspan is seven to nine feet. Give you a little bit of perspective there. That's about the width of the canopy above your heads. You getting all wet? It's mind the overspray. Have we got rid of the alligator? What are you talking about? Yeah, maybe they're redoing their, their habitat, possibly. It's only black with white stripes or white with black stripes. This species is black with white stripes. You can always tell by looking at their nose. Each zebra stripes are unique to that zebra. It's kind of like a fingerprint. When they're large groups, they're called a dazzle. It's a dazzle of zebras. Look at the baby. Look at the baby. I wish I on it. Look at that last hoof to get up. Oh, look, there's a bunch of them. Yeah. They're eating all the grass. They're so, hungry. Yeah, so if you don't know what color they do, because look at the nose. The nose That's what black. she said. Yeah, so the nose is black. They eat that. It's black, black with white stripes. Yeah. Yeah. Underneath these palm trees coming up on our right, there are going to be some Ann Coley cattle. The ones look like they can tell them. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It's an ostrich coming around. <laughs> They're the largest bird, but they can't fly. They just use their wings to help guide them while they're running. They can run 35 to 40 miles an hour. Once <laughs> 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 a close-up. It's a female. Males are a little bit bigger. They also have dark black feathers. They have body. The easiest way to tell them apart is by looking at Oh, there's the baby. There's there's ranger. Black rhinos have more of a pointed mouth. Another ostrich, too. They can run 35 miles an hour. Sometimes sport hawks use the burrows of other animals instead of making their own. When they do make their own, they use their tusks and their snouts to dig it out. We do have a rhino in the Two road sets of here. tusks at the top are for digging, the bottom are for defense. We might not be going anywhere soon. <laughs> It's also a bontabak hanging out with the rhinos up here. That dark brown animal coming up on your right. The bontabak were once poached nearly to extinction due to the purplish colors of their coats. Luckily, a few farmers noticed their dwindling numbers and they built a fence around their mating field. Did you enjoy the safari? We only went to the room. We only went to the room. I guess we do. So we did not see what? The crocodile? It looks like they were redoing that, and the lions. I bet it looks like they were redoing that area too. So, and then the the elephants were all out of where the mommy usually is with like the baby and the boys. They weren't there either. So, on my side, I saw the I saw the three ducks. Remember? Remember, remember like that the mom duck really looked really big. Remember that one time where we looked there was there was a mom duck and the two babies. Yes. I saw those same ones, but they're all grown up. Are they? They grew up so fast. I, I know because they're like all three, like all together. Yeah. So they have like a bunch of ducks. Came out there. I'm like, I don't know how many people will see for ducks. Sure for ducks. But Daddy called it again. He, we went on safari and it rained the whole time we're on the safari and now we're off and it stopped raining. So.
He is the pro. So if you want to try and skip rain, <laughs> follow Michael. All right, where to now, hun? Oh, let's check wait times. I think we decided on a Starbucks. Did you get a drink? Yeah. Okay, let's see what daddy got us. Feature comforts. This is nice and foamy. Good foam. <laughs> now they actually had the unicorn one. Oh, they did. <laughs> I love it. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> is it good? If you don't want it, I can have it. I'm sure. Aaron will take care of it if you don't want it. No? Alright. Aaron's double fist and cake pops. Mickey! Pluto! I love you! <laughs> what a great way to end the day! And I hear the birds. All right, that was our short little time at Animal Kingdom. We didn't actually get a ton of stuff done. Oh, I'm dark. Can you see me? You only got like two hours. Yeah, we actually only did two things, but we had fun. We had a good time. We've only been here a couple hours, actually. So even though we, we got to sleep in, and that was the most important part. Right, we got, we slept in, we still were able We'll do some of the goodbyes. Yep, we did Everest and we did the safari. Hey, Everest is usually the second longest line. Yeah, we both of those were basically just kind of like walk through and walk on, so it wasn't too long of a wait. My, my shirt. Thanks for following along. Bye.